Hello, my most beautiful Aries. How are you? I hope you guys are all doing well. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your October weekly reading. It is going to go from October 18th through the 24th. Now, everything that you guys are going to need to know about this reading will be in the description box. If you guys keep in mind, it is a general reading, so it's not going to be able to, you know, resonate for everyone out there. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. Everything that you guys are going to need to know about the personals will also be in the description box for you. So we're going to go ahead and pray and get started. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Aries, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aries energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands as the overall general energy. The person you're dealing with, they have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the Page of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. You have the Five of Wands, the Hermit, and the Page of Wands. I just feel a lot of conflict and a lot of drama, and I, honestly, Aries, I think you're getting fed up with it, okay? That's kind of what it feels like to me. I do almost feel like you're starting to really take a hard look at the connection as a whole, okay? And everything that's been going on in it and what you want for yourself moving forward. I think you're taking a really hard look, okay? And this person, I feel like you guys could have stopped communicating on um, whether they stopped or whether you stopped. I'm not sure. It could be either or we're going to see more information as we go. But I definitely feel like there's a lack of communication right now. And I do feel like currently you guys are still kind of holding on. But I think that may, energy may be shifting. Okay? Because there's been a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. And that's what you're looking at right now. You know, you're taking this time where you guys aren't talking. And you're just looking at all of the... All of the conflict, all the drama, all the problems, and you're like, you know, is this really what I want? Do I really want to keep doing this? You know, is this what I want for my life? I don't think so. Because you got the Page of Wands, and that's a new start, a new beginning. And my favorite part is that the page came up at the end, and it's got his back turned to all of this. He's facing it towards the future in a whole new direction. Like, ready to put the conflict, the drama you know, behind you, ready to go for a brand new beginning. You guys are ready for your best glow up yet, okay? I just feel this really positive energy. It's almost like leaving everything that you guys have dealt with behind and starting over brand new, okay? So let's take a look and see. We're going to start clarifying and see what's going on. Tell me about this Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? You have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, it's like every time you talk to this person, it turns into a fight. That's almost what it feels like to you. Um, just so much drama. Yeah, the Page of Swords. I do feel like it's a very, like, petty energy, too. I'm not saying whether it's coming from you or them or, you know, maybe it's both of you. Maybe y'all just can't help it, but you, like, bring it out in each other. There's something here. Um, just take it how it resonates for you, but there's something about communication. I feel like somebody is almost always looking for something to fight about. Um, that could be them, but it always leads to a fight regardless of who it is. Um, and I just feel like you're starting to see that. Like, wow, we really don't be doing anything but fighting. That's all we do here. <laughs> the strength card. So I feel like you're really taking a look at this. Like, do I really want to keep doing this? Do I have the strength to fight with this person you know, every week, you know, to break up, to start over. Like, do I, is this what I want for my future? Tell me about this hermit energy. The page of wands in the reverse. Yeah, I think you've been hesitant to start in the past um, because you were holding on to this connection, still wanting to fight, not ready to give up. There's something about this person. Okay, you do love this person. Obviously, you wouldn't put up with this if you didn't. Okay, there's something about them. And moving on on your own and letting somebody go, you know, that can be a little frightening. It can be a little difficult. Um, but I just feel like you're starting to take a really hard look at why you've been holding on and what you're holding on to. 
me about this page of wands. Tell me about the page of wands. Why is that here? The nine of wands. I feel like you're still, it's going to take you letting go. Okay. It's going to take you to, uh, you giving up on the connection, but more importantly, I feel like it's almost like a transference of this energy. You know, this nine of wands is the wounded warrior. He does not give up. Okay. He keeps going no matter what he's been through. And I feel like for a long time, that's the energy you had towards this connection. Okay. You just, you kept going no matter what it was putting you through. You just kept going. You kept giving the effort. You kept trying. Um, but I feel like it's time for a transference. And what I mean by that is you're going to transfer that energy that you've been giving to this connection to yourself. Okay. It's time for you to not give up on yourself. It's time for you to show up for yourself. It's time for you to keep fighting for yourself, for your future, for your dream, the vision that you have for yourself. I feel like that's what this new step is. It's you taking that energy and you're seeing with the hermit, this wise energy of, you know what? All that energy I've been giving to this person, to this connection, I've been fighting for them and for this. And I should have been fighting for myself. I should have been fighting for my dream, for my vision. I do feel like there's going to be a major energy shift here for you. Let's take a look at this person. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person could be a little bit immature. Yeah, they have two pages showing up as their energy. So a little bit, maybe they're a little young. Maybe they're a little bit immature. Maybe they just don't handle their emotions very well or they're not sure what they want. They don't have a good hold for the future. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Three of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, this person definitely, they could be a little bit emotionally mature. They don't have a really good grasp on their emotions. They could be a little bit of a selfish energy as well. Um, I'm kind of feeling that. Tell me about this Page of Cups energy. What's the Page of Cups energy about? The Ten of Cups. So I do feel like... This person feels you slipping away from them and they feel like you're their happiness. Um, they just don't handle their emotions well. I feel like there's just a lot of drama between the two of you. And I do feel like they are a little bit emotionally immature and they're not expressing it correctly. They do feel like you're their ten of cups. They do feel like you're slipping away from them, but they're not handling that correctly. They're not reacting to those emotions in a healthy way. And I feel like that's one of the things that contributes to the drama that you guys have. Now tell me about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Cups. So they're unclear about what the fit, what their dream and vision for their future is. And if it, you know, if you guys can have that together. There, there's things that they need to figure out and learn on their own as well. Okay, tell me more about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's a truth seeking energy in there. I feel like what they're trying to figure out is what that dream and their vision for the future looks like for them too. The five of pentacles, they are f without you, okay, without you in it, because they are feeling very hurt, left out in the cold, abandoned, and I don't feel like you're trying to hurt this person. I feel like you love this person. I just feel like you're trying to do what's best for you because it always goes back to the same place. I'm almost shocked that we haven't seen the world out here because I do feel a little bit of cycle energy. I feel like this is something you guys always end up back here, okay, but let's go ahead. We're going to pull some additional cards. And see what other messages we can get. Actually, I don't know why, but I'm feeling really called to use these. So we're going to. Let's see what messages we can get. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So for some of you guys, you know, half the reason that you guys are still together, I feel like both of you, you know, neither one of you are really happy. And neither both of you are kind of questioning if you can have the life that you want with each other um but it does kind of feel like to me that you guys are have been doing this for so long and you know there's a little bit of codependency you guys are very attached to one another okay there's some fears about letting go fears about moving forward fears about being without this person learning how to live without them those are all very normal okay um, but i feel like that's something that's contributing why you guys have stayed when neither one of you are really happy we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's t I feel like spirit is telling you, you, for both of you, that it's okay to put something behind you. Just because you've been doing it for so long doesn't mean that you need to keep doing it. And I feel like spirit is saying it's time to see what else is out there for you. Okay, it's time to break these attachments um, that are causing both of you so much drama and so much pain. And see what else could be out there for you. And trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You know, it can be difficult to 
go off on your own. You know, am I going to, some of you could wonder, you know, am I going to be single forever? What else is out there? You know, is it going to be worse than this? Like, there's just a lot of fear of the unknown. But Spirit is saying, it's calling for you to have faith. It's calling for you to trust um, that you have to go and you can't stay where you're not meant to be. Okay, that there's something more for you out there. The Spirit is asking you to have some faith. So let's get some action cards. Let's see what actions this person may be taking towards you and what actions you may be taking towards them. What actions will this person be taking towards Aries, please? What actions will this person be taking towards Aries? We got the death card. So allowing something to come to a close. The lovers. And the five of cups. So the lovers can also represent a turning point. It can also represent, you know, a major decision. I do feel like you guys do have a deep connection here. I feel like it does represent that as well. But I do feel like this person is choosing to try to accept that things are coming to an end. Um, they are grieving. They are very disappointed and hurt. But I feel like there's a part of them deep down that does know that this is what's best for both of you. I feel like they're going to be moving into an energy of acceptance. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. They could be feeling a little hurt and betrayed because you walked away, feeling a little bit rejected as well with this energy. And because of your decision to leave, they could be feeling a little hurt and rejected. But I do feel like... Um, they are going to move into an energy of acceptance because I feel like deep down this person does know that this is what's best for both of you. What actions will Aries be taking towards this person? What actions will Aries be taking towards this person? Any actions? Got the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. High Priestess in the reverse. So I just feel like you're going to be very clear with this person about what you want, what you're doing. I feel like you're not going to, like, you're not keeping any secrets from them. I feel like you're going to be honest with them. But I also feel like then you're going to stop communication. I don't see you moving towards them. I do feel like you're going to be withdrawing your energy altogether. The Ten of Wands, I do feel like it's very difficult for you. It's not easy for you to do, even if this person sees it that way or feels like it. I do feel like it's difficult it's showing up as a Ten of Wands as a burden this decision is. Um, because you do love this person with the Ace of Cups being here. But I just feel like you have, you're doing what you feel like is best for both of you okay so let's get some confirmation clarification and advice archangel spirit guides and ancestors what confirmation clarification and advice do we have for my beautiful aries what confirmation clarification and advice do we have confirmation clarification and advice surrender to the divine full moon full moons are about you know Cycles coming to a close. It's about releasing as well. I'm um, divine. I feel like both of you know that this is not meant for you. And Spirit is asking, calling on you to surrender to that and to close something out, to be able to release something that isn't meant for you. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So as you go on this new adventure, as you go on this new chapter of your life, Spirit wants you to know that you are being protected, you're being watched over, you're being guided. You are not going into the unknown alone, okay? Let's get you one more. You're very close to achieving your goal. So things are going to work out for you, okay? Things are going to be beautiful. The things that you want, you can have. Spirit's just saying you're being protected, you're being guided, but it's time to go on your new path. It's time to surrender to the divine and surrender to what's meant for you. So my lovelies, if this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can resonate more than your sun sign does. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies and mid-monthlies and weeklies are uploaded, you can be notified and you can go check them out. Um, but most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending so much love and so much light until next time.